Semi-control <laughs> over meeting at the minute. Possibly enough to risk putting the diffuser down. We'll see as the round goes on. But just very quickly, Des, as we head into this final minute, you were absolutely right. Mozzie was banned out on Oregon last week by Na'Vi. Restricted where that mute Mozzie setup that we're so used to seeing. And here comes the running, because I think Empire has sat here now for a minute, just like, well, where do we go? Where do we push here? Because they're not peeking us. No one's getting aggressive, so we need to be the ones to make the move, and apparently it's the wrong move. As Joystick and Side, they're both going down on front desk, always not too long following as well. We'll get a kill onto Grizzly. So in that four versus three now, as we hit those final 40 seconds or so, this is where the clash is really going to come into our own here. Can really make Empire sweat or fry, depending, of course, how you wish to describe the clash's impact. Dan is in and going for this challenge but again that clash is just going to make you struggle i believe that sloth holding back in console as well so if he tries to get too aggressive on it he's going to find himself going down gorgona finding one finding two that's what you want to see for kavana this adaptation to the top floor hold leaving empire rattled 10 seconds to play they've got to do what they can to put kenny down but it's simply not going to happen dan going to sit here and be fried until that time hit zero what a great defensive setup from kavana and empire did not have an answer sloth, who had that big 2k from connector in the previous round gorgona Still holding tight. If he gets droned out here by Joystick, he's going to have to peel himself away. Him. Oh, the drones missed him. This could be an absolute freebie. Second time in a row. Oh, no way. Second time. Stands up and Joystick wins it. Gorgona should be winning those and he'll be scorning himself for that in just a few moments' time, I'm sure, because that should have been an absolute sitter race. Joystick will not be able to believe his luck there. Out goes the Nitro. Does find Joystick, who only had a slither of health left, but he's not going to mind that whatsoever. Taking Gorgona. So goes, OK, maybe this isn't going to be a thing here yellow is going to have to be the play Kendrew just relocating as those vertical holes start getting opened up he knows it's going to pressure him there comes in the first kill nice headshot onto Scyther Garage door has been opened up, shots down from above, that was always the problem Grizzly. and it was always as he was using the sledge to open up and find the angles. Now Grizzly, he's going to deal with always, he finds his man <gasps> and gets the kill, one versus two, but they're going to have to make this plant, that's exactly what Shepard steps in to do. A couple of seconds left and that will be confirmed, which it is. Now then, two versus one, Grizzly half health, they know where he's coming from, he tries a pot shot through the soft wall, I tell you what, a couple of inches to the left and he gets his man there, but not this time. Time. And that's going to be Empire taking the round after a successful plant from Shepard. They've got two men trying to pressure him out. Shepard holding an angle from that soft wall that's been opened up oh. now. Then that's a nice shot from Dan. Must have had some information. Ah. And a second. What a 2K onto Kendrew and Grizzly. And all of a sudden brings us back to a three versus three. Crossfire for him into meeting. Oh. So... Oh. There. That's the one they needed. Always onto Sloth, and he moves in aggressively. Manages to get himself taken down. No, it's Shepard who loses his life. Dan gets the kill onto an Arctic. Out comes the Nitro just oh. underneath, and somehow catches always. Always was on super low health, I'll point out there. So Gorgona brings us to one versus one, but now Dan able to think about getting that diffuser down. Gorgona's coming around. Dan had every opportunity, oh. but no, he knew where the man was going to come from. Shuts him down as he comes through the single door, and that was back and forward, but Empire able to push it over the line at the very last. Rotero drones in there to clear as much utility as they feel they need. Oh, he goes, sees the man for a second. This is where he got that godly little shot onto Grizzly in the previous round, but both now aware of each other will step away. No one quite keen to find themselves losing their life at this point in the round, but with 20 seconds to play, those lives are going to have to be lost very, very soon. Four versus three, seven men on the field with 15 seconds ace. It's all coming down to this, and without that top floor control, it's going to be extremely difficult. They've no choice but to just walk away from it at this point, Des. There's no more time. Out comes a Nitro. Oh. It will get both of them. And where did it come from? God. It came from the top <laughs> floor. Uh, suddenly, you've got no vertical denial in the sight. That is a wonderful shot onto an Arctic who is getting a little bit bold onto that double door. How many times are we going to see these shots coming out of Empire tonight? That's the second already. Dan with an absolute beauty onto Grizzly earlier. Joystick getting involved oh. now. There's the, the Claymore just inside taking... I mean, we spoke a few times this map already about how Empire love pushing inside of Admin. So the right place sometimes can be to get up in their face and get a little bit aggressive. The more passive approach in previous rounds didn't work and it's still not going to work here even with a different tactic. One kill coming out. Kendrew, the last alive. Otherwise, it could turn out to be a flop. Lawless round for Empire, and one that they also sorely need if they take three attacking rounds in the half. Not a bad outcome at all. And Kendry with that one C4 in pocket might make it work once, but can he do all five? That's it. He's not going to have much of a chance here, to be fair, because also there's a reasonable amount of time, nearly 30 seconds left for Empire to just get him surrounded here and start taking those fights, get gun 
There we go. I was just about to say, get angles, get lines of sight, but always he had everything he needed. He'd moved downstairs, got aggressive, and finds the man at the bottom of the stairs. Security room and cafeteria just rotating mm. between the two, just trying to hold long angles, and they'll have utility ready to bring to bear. They've got the nitro of Grizzly, which will be hopeful in preventing a plant going down. There is a toxic babe canister that's come out. There's two there, but both in the wrong place, and Shepard, he's oh. able to continue getting the diffuser down. It is successful successfully activated. Meanwhile, Dan gets a kill onto Anarchic, and this is looking tough for Kavana. This is textbook Empire. They did exactly the same against Secret last week in their attacks. Only this time round, Kavana were trying to be a little more aggressive on their defense. It was Patball previously trying to play up against Pipes, who was cleared out, and then it was all too easy for Empire. But they've walked in here and made this look a bit more simple, even with the smokes raining around and the longer angle sloth finding one to fight back. But there's a double cleanup coming out of Empire. They take round number six and complete the half at four and two. To find a little bit of a shot onto Sloth, but this little back and forth continues. Honestly, you just you, I was going to say, you're waiting for one of these roamers around the map to come and join in this fight, and Joystick strikes with no cover for Sloth on the doorway, makes it all too easy. Always on the downstairs, finds one onto Grizzly, so suddenly the four versus four becomes a 4v1, as always doubles up his money and gets Kendra as well. One versus four, four Gorgona, still with two Candelas, still with the smokes in the back pocket. I really doubt I'll even find a chance to make good use of these four and execute, given the predicament that he finds himself in. Diffuse is cold dead on the ground, Dan peeking around the corner, this should be an easy step out here for one bullet to come into him from Shepard. Gorgona will fall and Empire make it five and two. After utility after utility, but the connector is stacked with a man and they mm. need to be careful. It's not him. It's exactly what I was saying two minutes ago. It's the man below playing inside a piano with a C4 on side. They try and make this happen. They're going to get stung big time. It's side the holding in. C4 comes out. It's stung them again. The planter has been killed by a C4 from below and there is zero threat inside a piano. Well played from Empire once again. Kavana maybe just not applying enough attention to the entire map there to know that that threat was lurking beneath. Sloth is at the top of yellow stairs, looks to push himself in. He's all alone now as Grizzly is found by Shepard, taking out the default cameras. His information will have been getting fed to the rest of the Empire team. There's a man gone underneath as well to make his life even more miserable here. And Sloth, he's just trying to find anything. He's juking, he's weaving, he's ducking and diving, but he cannot find a single man and that is because Empire are playing this smart Des. They are patient. They know they don't need to push. They don't know they know they don't need to peek. They can just wait for the opportunity to come and it does. And look who it is to take it down. He's been getting kill after kill today. There is still gonna be a lot of work to do. So either just keeping himself alive inside of antechamber but steps out a little bit too far and does take a chunk of damage as Kendrew finds Dan. Ooh. Utility raining inside almost gets away with it but Sloth said right enough's enough from the windows. We're not mucking about with that anymore. Route one, in I go, and there's the kill. He must have come in through yellow, straight into bathroom, out into Anti, and just killed the guy sat there with Empire having basically zero response. Plant coming in now from Anarchic and always and Joystick will scramble to make something happen, but they're not watching the right angles. It feels like the first couple of rounds of the game again, where Kavana have got the right angles and Empire are just unexpectant as to what's going on. A nice shot from Joystick turns it into the one versus four. Can't see the man on the window. Yes, he can. Makes it a second, but he's got so much more to do. Almost had the man's head in the crosshairs, but Kendrew, he hits the shot first, and Kavana catch a well-needed break and take him round number nine. to go in and get the plant. Kendrew is on the knock, so he's going to just use that Hell Presence device to just remove his visual signature from any cameras, which will include that Maestro Evil Eye as Kendrew oh. goes in to get the diffuser down. Smart player here. Now then, an Arctic is on the cover, and it's extremely important that he's successful, and he is killed going out of the window, though. Kendrew manages to take one with him, but it's one versus three now and Grizzly not necessarily in an ideal position here he can stop the man if he can get the angle but I'm not sure he knows exactly where he is the yellow ping is wrong he's going to stick it side the wins it and that just shows that if you get that diffuser down before your post plant is properly set up it can be a nightmare to try and hold on and losing both members before getting back out of that garage door was a problem and I can't help but think that the size of the breach didn't help